The most powerful and brightest supernova explosion ever observed is between 50 to 100 times more massive than the Sun. Typically, supernovae have masses of between 8 and 15 solar masses. We're talking about the SN2016 APS supernova, found in 2016 by the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System Panstars Survey for Transients. This extremely powerful event was located in a low-mass galaxy, about 3.6 billion light-years away from Earth, and at the time of the explosion, it was brighter than the whole galaxy it resides in. SN2016 APS was initially identified as a very bright, short-lived event that lasted for just a few days. It was then followed by a period of slow fading over two years until it faded to 1% of its peak brightness. These measurements helped the researchers calculate its mass. What set SN2016 APS apart from other supernovae was the sheer amount of energy it released, estimated to be over 10 times greater than a typical supernova. There are two ways astronomers measure supernovae. One includes the total energy of the explosion, and the other is the amount of that energy that is emitted as observable light. Typically, the radiation of a supernova is less than 1% of the total energy. But the radiation of SN2016 APS was five times the explosive energy of a normal-sized supernova. This is the most light humans have ever seen emitted by a supernova. In fact, this supernova is so extreme and unique that the team behind the discovery thinks it may be a pulsational pair instability supernova. A pulsational pair instability is a supernova explosion that is thought to occur when two extremely massive stars with masses greater than 100 times the Sun collide. But such an event is theoretical and has never been confirmed through astronomical observations. It's also possible that the energy released by this supernova may have come from the explosion of a very massive star, possibly about 100 times the mass of the Sun. Such massive stars have short lifetimes and burn through their nuclear fuel very quickly, leading to explosive supernova deaths. What makes SN2016 APS particularly interesting is that it challenges our understanding of how such massive stars evolve and ultimately explode. The amount of energy released by the supernova is difficult to explain through current models and suggests that there may be some new and unknown physics at play. However, through analysis of the light spectrum, the astronomers demonstrated that the energy behind the explosion may have been the result of a collision between the supernova and a dense shell of gas that had been expelled from the star during the years before it exploded. Supernovae are discovered on a regular basis, with an average of about one per day being detected by modern telescopes and observatories around the world. However, the rate of discovery can vary depending on a number of factors, such as the sensitivity of the instruments being used, the size and scope of the surveys being conducted, and the location and brightness of the supernovae themselves. These explosions typically release vast amounts of energy, including visible light, X-rays, and gamma rays, which can be detected by telescopes and other observatories. The initial flash of light from a supernova is known as the shock breakout, and it is typically very brief, lasting only a few hours or days. This is followed by a longer phase of brightening as the expanding shell of gas from the explosion collides with surrounding material and heats it to high temperatures, releasing more light in the process. Some of the most prolific surveys for discovering supernovae include the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System (PanSTARS) and the Zwicky Transient Facility (ZTF). These projects use advanced telescopes and cameras to scan the night sky for new sources of light, including potential supernovae. In addition to dedicated surveys, supernovae are also sometimes discovered serendipitously by astronomers studying other objects or conducting unrelated research. For example, a supernova might be spotted during a survey of nearby galaxies or as a result of follow-up observations of gamma-ray bursts or other high-energy phenomena. Supernovae are typically found in massive galaxies. Interestingly, SN2016 APS immediately stood out for further observations because it seemed to be in the middle of nowhere. That's because initially scientists couldn't see the galaxy where this star was born until after the supernova light had faded. 
While supernovae are often seen as destructive forces, they're also essential to the formation of new stars and the creation of the building blocks of life. Supernovae are the takers of life because they mark the end of a star's life cycle. When a massive star exhausts all its nuclear fuel, it undergoes a catastrophic collapse, leading to a violent explosion. This energy is capable of destroying anything in its path, including planets, asteroids, and other celestial bodies. However, while supernovae may destroy some things, they also bring new life to the universe. The intense heat and pressure generated by the explosion of a supernova create the perfect conditions for the formation of new stars. The shock wave produced by the explosion compresses nearby gas and dust, triggering the collapse of these materials and the birth of new stars. The debris ejected by the supernova also contains heavy elements such as carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, which are essential for the formation of planets and the emergence of life. Supernovae are also crucial for the creation of the building blocks of life. The elements produced by supernovae are crucial for the formation of organic molecules, such as amino acids, which are essential for life as we know it. Without supernovae, the universe would lack many of the essential elements and compounds necessary for the emergence and sustenance of life. Supernovae also play a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies, helping to shape their structure and influence the development of new stars. They also serve as cosmic laboratories, providing scientists with valuable insights into the physics of extreme conditions, such as the behavior of matter at high temperature and densities. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.